Hello Zeverhood and welcome to Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. I am so excited to be finally getting back to Minecraft Story Mode. As of today, the second season begins with Season 2, Episode 1, and we're going to be starting our playthrough of it right here, right now. If you guys didn't know, I've already played through every other episode throughout Season 1 on the channel already, and if you want to go check those out, the playlist will be in the description below. But for right now, we're going to be getting started with a brand new adventure. I have no idea what is in store ahead of us, but we're gonna find out together. Let's get started. I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume Aww. that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy. But they had each other, and working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world, and their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever lived. <laughs> He's falling asleep. Huh? Oh, uh huh? What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Although, not always technically accurate. Yeah. I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but... It was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but it might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. I'm gonna let him choose. Lucas, I know you'll make the right call. Thank you, Jesse. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but, uh, next year. I can't believe it's Founding Day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah, of yeah, course. We were all there. For uh, most of it. I feel like her voice acting is different. Um, we did it together, of course. Hey, come on, guys. We all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. It is a good note, though. I'll keep that in mind when I'm editing. Oh, come on, it's not all about well, me. This has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once no Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Yay! Man, they've been gone a long time. Where have they been? Jesse, your intern. An intern? <laughs> Jesse? Oh, hey, Radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, you, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. It's all right. Oh, he is just adorable. My deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. You don't need to apologize. We're just hanging out. Right. Sorry. Uh, uh, sorry. I, I, I mean, uh... <laughs> He's a little tense. So, what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Oh, nice. We should get going. Yeah. <laughs> uh, about that. We've actually got our own Founding Day stuff we need to prep for. Cool. Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. Oh, that's okay. I get it. You have your life, and so do I. Ah, <sighs> thanks, Jesse. Yeah. No problem. Oh, thanks. Petra will never let you hear the end of it, though. Tell Petra I said next time for sure. Okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the order hall with the order. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a fan. 
Olivia sounds way different. I am almost positive they changed her voice actor or I'm remembering it wrong, but whoa, look at this place. Looks great. So they really spoofed up the order here. How far so after is the this? other towns have founding day celebrations, huh? Of course. We were all part of taking down the Witherstorm. Redstonia even hosts the whole dance in Eligard's honor. Yeah, it's mostly TNT and fireworks in Boomtown. Magnus let me help design the firework finale this year. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Yeah, this has been great. I really appreciate you guys coming out like this. I know it's busy. Yeah, man. Always love an excuse to visit Beacon Town. So we're in Beacon Town. This is so cool, I love it. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. All right, well, there they go. I love their new clothes, too. the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town. Well, he's just a bundle of joy. Here we go, the opening credits are always so cool in this game. Minecraft Story Mode Season 2, and there's a parrot, hi parrot. Oh gosh, this is so cool. I mean, it feels like there's a lot for us to catch up on. There's obviously been some time passed. All of the members of the Order are sort of doing their own thing. They're still a team and they're still a part of the Order, but they have their own lives and duties and they're heroes on their own, which is really cool. I'm very curious to see what Petra and Ivor are up to because we haven't seen them. Hopefully something good. I did want to ask you guys how many seasons you think there will be. I mean, well, episodes, not seasons. Because there's already five episodes confirmed, but with the first season we had five episodes confirmed. It ended up being eight. So I wonder if there will be more. I'm not sure, but I'm excited to find out. Wow, look at the, the burger balloon up there. I realize that some days you'd rather be out adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. Well, thank you. Yeah, but being out there, adventuring, that's good too. Yeah. I mean, I guess. I've never really been the adventuring type myself. Too, uh... <laughs> Too dangerous. So what is he interning for? Then? I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. Well, we'll do what we can to appease everybody. And look at that, we can already move around. And of, of course, if you guys haven't seen my original Minecraft Story Mode episodes, of course, I want to let the characters speak and for you guys to hear them and for myself to hear them so that we can be a part of the story. And usually when we have periods like this is when I try to catch up and talk to you guys a little bit. But yeah, I mean, one thing, the game is being updated. So like now there are parrots which is really, really cool that we get to see them in the game, and that's just really cool. The walking animations seem to be smooth. Like, everything looks better. Visually, the game looks really good. The characters have new clothes, except for Chessy, of course, but look at this. Oh yeah, this is the beacon. Hello, beacon. And the UI seems to be slightly updated as well. Like, everything looks better. It's powered by the nether star the Witherstorm dropped. Oh, I know. Even before I moved to Beacon Town, I came on a trip to see the beacon. I love this thing. And Radar is cool, because he sort of seems to be like a little bit of a nerdier type that we don't see too much in the game so far, like in, you know, the storyline as we've had it. Oh, here's Ivor's pet. Oh yeah, I remember this from the beginning of the second half of season one, after we beat the nether storm. We saw this a little bit. We gotta walk all the way over there to look at it though. Ivor and Harper are having fun out there in the portal network. Can't wait to hear about it when they get back. So they're still in the portal network. What are they adventuring the portal network for? Are they just sort of being more communicative with it? Because that was sort of a big thing. I can't talk to you guys. Hi. Uh, was that, wow, we can really walk out far. Um, that we got lost in the portal network. That wasn't too good. But I'm gonna be really detailed. I'm gonna try to look and talk to as many things as I can. It's just so cool. It's like this weird after story. I think that Radar is cool. I don't really know what he's interning for. Like, he doesn't like to adventure. Is he the Order's accountant or something? I bet one of those would look awesome on the Order Hall's front lawn. Mm hmm. I don't think he agrees. <laughs> so what's going on over here? There's a little music box. Man, there's a lot of stuff to look at. Here's another statue. This this place is really spruced up. Oh, hey, now, it's you. I thought you were out seeing the world. Did that, righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while though. Like I love danger and daring do as much as the next person, but sometimes you just wanna have a place to store your junk, okay? Well, I'm so <laughs> glad you're here. 
Man, that is just the sort of warm welcome I had hoped. You rock, Jesse, dude. No problem. Between you and me, I am worried that I won't, like, fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make, like, a good first impression, you know? You'll do Which it. Which I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. <laughs> Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business! All right, let's start building, I guess. So yeah, and we still have, you know, these kind of quick time events. But yeah, Nell was really cool. She was one of my favorite characters from the second half of season one. It's cool to see that she joined our world. Okay, whoa, do we really get to build anything? Um, so I can click on an inventory item. Um, let's see, place item, remove item. But how do I do that? Oh, wow, so I can seriously build whatever I want. Oh, that is so cool, and I'm glad they're doing that. It's way more creative. I have no idea what I want to build, though. It might take me a little bit to find out. Well, she wanted something that, you know, is very welcoming, right? So I'm just gonna do a little hello. Wait, no, wrong one. Oh, there you go. Hi. <laughs> I'm not feeling very creative today, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, the statue is perfect. Uh, yeah, fine. <laughs> that is some sweet work. Nice. That is so cool that we get to build our own things now. Oh, Jesse, dude, I'm glad thanks. you like it now. It was my pleasure. Well, it is an honor, mi amigo. And don't be a stranger, okay? Okay, see ya. Well, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free-spirited. <laughs> yeah. Kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Is she days. different now? Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at Oh, the hey, there were some... Mm -hmm. Oh, man, there's more characters from season one. I saw uh, Stampy and somebody else, I think. Hey, what's, what's, what is what's up here? This is a zombie statue we've yet to look at because Nell came at us. But yeah, there's Stampy and... Whoa! Oh, Wink, get back here. Leave Jesse alone. Hello there, Jesse. I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. What are you guys doing here, though? Um, the thrill of adventure, I guess. Cool. And the stories of this place sounded awesome. <laughs> That's nice to see. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Oh, Wink. Here, Jesse, give him a bone and he'll calm right okay. down. Here you go, puppy. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. Let's pet you first. Oh, you're so cute. You're adorable. I wish. We could have a little puppy following us around, but I think we've had enough pets in the series. Nice tasty bone. Aw, see? He likes you. Ha, <laughs> yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're gonna need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. <laughs> I, love how I imagine you're terribly in the busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. All right, cool. It's really cool to see them. Oh, man. I love all these season one throwbacks so far. These parrots are so cool. I wish that he would like acknowledge them. Like, what the heck are these things? We didn't get to see the zombie statue, though. I don't think it's a big deal. Um, Hello, citizen. You're just a random citizen. How are you doing? Oh, wow. It is really yep. you. My friend told me this was a recreation of your first big build. Way back before the wither storm, before all that Oh, was stuff. it? Is it true? You have got to tell me I more I can't about remember it. building that. I can barely even picture it. I have devoured everything Lucas has written about you guys in those days. <laughs> All right. I love talking about the good old days. <laughs> yes. I'm just so curious. Where does your inspiration come from? Was there a deeper meaning? Oh, or like a critique of the world, maybe? I draw my inspiration from my friends. We were a team. It was a group effort. Oh, classic Jesse. I don't I think it's that. remembering my the save choices. I really wish I got to see was what you built to take down the Wither Storm. Now that must have been terrible. I'm pretty sure I didn't choose a the zombie. World coming apart at the seams. Tentacles everywhere. Yeah, we were all really scared. For a while there, it looked like the Wither Storm might win. Well, speaking on behalf of the world, I am really glad you were there to stop it. Oh, you are just the best. Oh, and thank you so much for taking the time to stop and talk My pleasure. To no, not a problem. I'll see you around, all right? I would take the time, and I did. So you know what? It's worth it. Oh, no, this makes me so sad. They're already pulling out the feels. Why? Best pig that ever lived. I miss you, buddy. He's got other pigs oh, chilling man. out. I wish I could have met Reuben. 
He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. That chapter about Reuben almost got me crying right there. I think he would have liked you. Yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet you would have totally been friends. Wow. Oh, my gosh, it's you. It's me. Oh, yep, it's me. What are, what are you doing here? Oh, wow, this is actually perfect. For founding day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Uh, would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? Uh... I mean, who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? Yeah. Oh, no, I feel like that. I'm going to feel awful. I can't just... Uh. ...to say that the pig was hand-chosen by Jesse for the part. I would love to. Seems like the least I could do. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you so I just feel much. like it's so nice when the townspeople get so excited. It's so worth doing. Show Jesse your good side. <laughs> they all well, look exactly the, the same. Mushy Q cheeks and Lord Von Thunderpork the same. Yeah, I go with Esteban. I like his humble name. Tried my best to bring the pigs that felt the most Ruben esque. Hmm? Definitely Esteban. He's got the most intelligent face. <laughs> really? Ah, I knew that's who you'd choose. Fantastic. Congratulations. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesse. I'm going to get him ready. I'll see you at the celebration. Thanks. See you. Bye. Okay. Well, we got that done. There's a lot of town folks that want our attention. I think it's really cool because I like to get the time out of the, you know, to be able to talk to them and see how excited they get. This is sugarcane. Why would we need this? Makes me happy to see so many plants growing in Beacon Town. Yeah, it's pretty great, huh? I won't take any because it's not mine. I mean, just because you know I'm the celebrity here doesn't mean I need to take everything. Hello, citizen. Jesse! Hey! Hey! Look who it is! Jesse! Hey! Hey guys, what are you doing? Glad you asked. We're working on a new game for founding day that I guarantee you is gonna be all the rage this year. Slime oh yeah? I'm diving. Ooh. <laughs> he seems to be having fun. Up, I'll let you take the first dive. Bob designed the schematics, didn't you, Bob? Okay. It's really um, cool. Uh, I want to, but we, can, we can't let Petra wait forever, right? Okay, we'll do one more. That sounds awesome. Let's do it. We're going to be diving off this excellent pagoda bomb designed, but we can't decide what material to use. Thoughts? Uh, hmm. I'm just conflicted because I like all of them. Oh, we know you do, Bob. <laughs> don't worry. Jesse's going to help us settle this. I don't know what we're really trying to build here. Let's What's just do wood. Cause it's... Choice. Let's go with that. Yeah, that's basically the reason why. They look a little upset. <laughs> okay, there we go. I guess there's some wood in this. Okay, and we're done. Nice, that turned out great. And just like I promised, you can take the first dive. Oh boy, let's hope we don't get hurt. First aim for the slime. With swan great. dive, double twist, oh, belly flop. We got to do the double twist. Hey, look at that. That's so cool. Ta-da. Thanks, everyone. Jesse, that was incredible. Seriously, amazing dive. Thank you for that. Thank you for the help before. No problem. Look, my friend's waiting, so I got to run, but nice work. Okay, I think we do have to rush a little bit more. Because, you know, I could talk to everybody, right? But I, I have a feeling like there's going to be, like, a consequence. Like, if I take forever then Petra's probably gonna be mad, and I don't want that. There's some chickens, side chickens. We got a little heart. Oh, I, I wanna look at everything. I don't think it'll penalize me for like looking at stuff, right? I don't know. Huh, what a lovely garden. Agreed. What was that texture in the background? Oh, I think it was like some kind of paneling. It looked weird. Yeah, like this stuff here. Don't know what that is. Okay, well, we're doing all right. Hello, so, oh, this is where we can meet with Petra finally. I hope she's not bad. Here we are at the mines. Nice, Ooh, thanks for deep. walking with me. Oh no, thank you, Jesse. It was a pleasure watching you work. It truly was. I Stopping to, to that help work. all those people, helping them prepare for founding day. Very inspiring. Oh, we're getting all armored up. Not too I'll, much, but some. Uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your adventure things. Got all the faith in the world, buddy. You got this. Thanks, Jesse. <laughs> Our mouth never closed in that sentence. Down. Bye. Have a good time. Don't I always? Okay, so let's go. I hope I really hope Petra isn't mad at us. Like I'm—I don't know why, but I'm so worried. Oh, 
what's going on? Oh, look at all these workers. Some of them don't look so happy. Petra? Huh, I swear she said to meet right here. Uh, Petra? Everything okay? Petra! Where are you? Uh. Ah! No! Zombies! Zombie. Alright, let's deal with this. Leave these mine workers alone. They don't want any uh, trouble. This? <coughs> oh, smell not so much. So it looks like Jesse here has been getting a little bit, uh, I guess, action hungry. You know, he's been a little starved of it. He's been doing all the political work. Oh, so we have like an energy bar now we need to be careful of. Combat actually seems to have a bit of depth this time instead of just spamming the button. Well, That's cool. You're late, but at least you still remember how to fight. Sorry. Oh, hey. Hey. I was worried you'd gotten rusty. No, of course not. I can't even imagine that life. Managing people, signing papers, ugh. I really do miss this. You know, us adventuring together, facing the unknown. Wish we could do this more often. Except I'm gonna have a hard time being seen with someone wearing such dingy armor. Yikes. What is that, iron? I didn't <laughs> want to dent the good stuff, so what? And look who's talking with an iron sword. Where's your fancy gold one with all the enchantments? Can't remember the last time I saw you without it. I, uh... Uh-oh, what happened? Oh, more? Where are they coming from? Ready for more? Let's do it. Do we get the fight together? This seems cool. Oh, gosh. Ah, too slow, zombies. Typical. Typical. Petra's still probably my favorite character. Here now. Um, let's slice you. I gotta be careful. I can dodge, of course, to dodge or to, yeah, dodge your attack. Ow! That hurt! Oh, so our stamina drains every time we attack, but does it drain more when we get hit? Oh no, we have health. It was just being covered up by the tooltip. Oh, we are comboing! We are comboing! We got him! Nice. My step yet. Well, you sure showed me. Glad you finally made it. Sometimes I worry you don't even have time for me, your friends anymore. I mean, I get that you like your job and everything, but jeez. Hey, I'm here now, aren't I? I'll always make time for you. Yeah, I guess. But now that you mention it, can't What's help up? but notice that we're missing one, two, three. Axel has boomtown duties. Olivia's grading something or other in Redstonia, and Lucas is writing. I figured, man, our friends have gotten lame. They're growing up. I swear, if our old fans saw what we're doing now. I'm just saying, I don't care how good Lucas's next book is, it's not exactly slaying a wither storm, you know? I get hey, it, don't but... don't get bummed. Even without them, we're having fun, right? Yeah, that's a good point. At least we've got the cool people here. <laughs> Yikes. We'll worry about them later, I guess. We gotta hurry. The what problem... exactly are we looking for down here? I'll tell you when we find it. Just trust me, it's important. Oh boy, oh! What was that? What was that? Come was on, on all fours. Race. Wait, what? <laughs> I guess we're gonna it's find out. It's monster hunting time. Oh boy. Why don't we get on a mine cart? <laughs> all these miners like, geez, I wish I could have fun like them. I hope these miners are like enjoying their job. I wouldn't want anybody in our town being forced to work. Oh, <laughs> jumping over you for no reason, I guess. Oh, oh. Good to hey. See ya. <laughs> oh gosh, watch out. Perfect. Um, I guess I'll take your cake. Oh, that was sort of mean of me. I feel bad now. Whoa. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Um, what are we doing? Oh, okay. We're jumping over it. Oh, gosh. This is so cool. I love these quick time events. Oh, gosh. We're going to the left. Huh. Woo. All right. Where'd you go? Where'd what go? Hey, what exactly are we looking for? Look down there. Uh, so you're really not gonna a, tell me what we're Oh, chasing. I know what it is. Nope. The mystery is what makes it fun. Come on. I know exactly what it is. Let's go get it. Oh. Oh, geez. So this mine isn't exactly up to working conditions, if you ask me. I mean, mines aren't supposed to be exactly, you know, safe. Uh-oh. More of them? Really? Oh, great. Well, we're just gonna run. Okay. Look See out. ya. Okay, wow, there really are a lot of spiders that we're gonna have to start dodging here. But the thing I wanted to say before is that I've, I've noticed that it seems like a good point of the story is that the characters are growing up and they're trying to find ways to, you know, enjoy what made them come together in the first place. 
while still trying to be adults with responsibilities, because that's sort of like what happened here, isn't it? Is that they're, they're, they have responsibilities now and people are relying on them as if they grew up. And that's sort of like, I guess it's like a coming of age story, I guess you could say. <laughs> we didn't hit many of them there, but hopefully we can lose them at the lava. Oh, we did it, nice and clean. Oh geez, oh, 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 oh. poor little spider guy. I hope we're catching up to whatever we're catching up to though. Oh, there it is, we are getting what close. That cave? Oh, I know, I still know exactly what it is. I'm not gonna spoil it. And Petra's in the home stretch. Oh, you got it, Petra, you can do it. Oh gosh, lava's pretty hot. I'm sure the armor's getting a little uncomfortable. Ah, oh, jeez, more of these guys. They never stop, do they? Oh, help Petra win the race. Oh yeah, of course we're gonna help Petra. You kidding me? My turn to save you, Petra. Oh, okay, let's go. Ooh, ooh. Like, I, I wouldn't want a petty race kit in the way of her life. I feel like that'd be awful. That wasn't too bad, but we still have more. So my health sort of transfers over though. When I picked up that cake from the mine worker, I actually got health back. So if I'm not very good. Ugh, it's gonna take forever to get through these stupid web heads. Maybe we can seal them off somehow? Like, maybe a little lava. That would be helpful. Ooh, go ahead, hit it, hit it. Oh, boom. Each lava spider, bro. He's like, darn. Oh, that totally did the trick. Ah, see ya. Oh, hey, come on. There. We saved your butt just for that? Ugh. Well, that's fine. I don't need to win everything. Whoa, oh, that would totally hurt. In your face. Petra, Petra. <laughs> so rude. You're number one, you're number one! Uh, cheater, much? I totally saved you back there. Oh, oh, yeah, you're right, sorry. I shouldn't be gloating. <laughs> I was just excited. Okay, this mystery better live up to all the hype. Uh-oh. Oh, Here no. Here I come, mystery monster. Here we come. What is it gonna be? Oh, no. Hello? Anything on the other side? We might have to find out in the next episode of Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and of course, if you watched at the end of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Monster, so I know you've watched in the video, and that you are a Zebra Tassie viewer. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, feel free to click on any of the ones on your screen right now. But for now, stay tuned until tomorrow. Bye-bye.